My name is Dr. Sherman Horowitz. I am a psychotherapist. I am a psychoanalyst. I am a psychiatrist. I am a cyclist uh, three days a week for, for exercise. I am also a recyclist, particularly of plastics and glass. And uh, today I am going to be talking to you uh, about how to stay sane in an insane world. Uh, for those of you who are fans of my work, you'll be aware that I had a very traumatic upbringing uh, due to my father, uh, which culminated in me leaving home at 14 with two broken legs. Uh, but you should see what happened to the other guy. And if you are interested in seeing that, I recommend you go to the Nashville Street Cemetery in California, which is where I buried most of him. Uh, but uh, after that experience, I managed to drag myself to college, and um, I arrived a very timid and uh, shy young man, um, and I quickly developed uh, dependence or uh, an addiction, if you will, on uh, this uh, familiar substance. Uh, the French speakers will know it as uh, lait. Uh, the Chinese speakers will, will know it as... Um, well, they have a word for it, I'm sure, but um, it was really a substitute for sex. Uh, you see, um, uh, what I liked about milk at the time uh, was that it, it, it can't really say no. Um, it is in a perpetual state of consent, if you, if you will, and uh, even if it felt otherwise, it, it completely lacks the ability to tell one to stop, uh, which was very beneficial for me as a, as a young man. Ah, uh, and this was fine for a while, and, and until uh, a year in, I had uh, been consuming up to three liters every 15 minutes, uh, which I since found out was the equivalent of the entire annual output of a Mississippi dairy farm. Uh, so it's, it's quite a, it's quite, quite too far, uh, really. Um, so uh, two years in, I was uh, disregarding all uh, hygiene. Uh, there was no pasteurization process. I was just uh, drawing milk directly from the cow's teat. Um, on one particularly bad occasion, I sucked so hard on a moo cow that she actually miscarried a baby calf directly into my throat, uh, which de definitely a low point. And once uh, the milk dried up, quite literally, I was... Uh, given a federal ban, uh, which did not permit me to come within three meters of a bovine, um, at which point I went after uh, lactating mothers, uh, one of which was my sister Loretta, who has since been institutionalized at the uh, California Psychiatric Residential Treatment Center. So hello to you, if you are watching. Um, and just a reminder that you owe me 35 bucks. Um, so there I was. I was uh, really on a journey of despair. I was completely nihilistic. I uh, traveled uh, across America and uh, I ended up in a very, very bad state. Um, it was the state of Arkansas, um, if I recall. And uh, it was there that I, I met a young Latino gangbanger uh, by the name of Vasquez. Uh, who took me under his wing. Um, I looked to him for guidance. Uh, he generally used my body as a temporary storage unit for various quantities of illegal drugs. Uh, but he also had a sharp and insightful mind. And it was him that actually, in lesson one incoming, uh, who actually introduced me to the concept of a for those of you who are struggling with mental health issues or uh, addiction problems, I would recommend um, reconnecting with the natural world. So say hello to Vasquez the second, whom I named after the man's honor. Now, what first endeared me to this little fellow is uh, not just his handsome coloring, beautiful as it is, but um, he has a wide variety of opinions. Um, I can't say I agree with all of them. Uh, I, for one, happen to believe that black lives do matter. Um, but he is an engaged and uh, erudite uh, creature of the world, you could say. And I, I, I think really that is my number one tip for sanity is try and cultivate a relationship uh, with the natural world. Um, so there we are. Take that information and do with it as you wish. Um, and I will be back for lesson two soon. Goodbye.